Hello, all greetings, beloved human family. I am Gilles Mancillon. I thought I'd come and greet you today. I hope you're having a good day. I wanted to, to, to speak about a few things. First, I wanted to, uh, to, to, to say I think it was an international uh, event that they're trying to make, the, the, the wo International Women's Day, between the International Coffee Day and the International Tennis Day. Um, I think it's completely ridiculous that we should, we, we, we should only have one day to celebrate women, for women is is as just as important as men to the, the to the existence of humanity. It is just as divine. She doesn't need to fight or prove, right? Feel in society, she has to prove that she's as worthy as a man. It is completely insane. But not insane, but it, it's it's no longer needed for for the divine feminine. Is really what everybody needs to reactivate, not just for one day, but every day. It is the ancient memory of Lemuria, the goddess energy that was here. The first extraterrestrial civilization that came to the Earth was Lemurian civilization. They were 12 dimensional beings, so they never really had to deal with the physical life. But it's, uh, it, it's, it's this arc. Then they moved into the inner Earth, where we will someday realize, know, and, 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 and reconnect to the world that's inside the Earth, that's far more advanced. The name of this world is known, it's called Agartha. And so it is a beautiful place. I've been invited there a few times, I, uh, but I haven't really completed my cycle there, for there is something that we'll need to attend down there, the Temple of Knowledge. We're all going to have to go through that. I haven't been there yet, so I'm getting ready. For this goddess arch archetype has to be awakened within both men and women. We all have that, and we need to have this compassionate, loving, healing frequency within ourselves. For it is the, the f divine feminine that has to be... Uh, it doesn't mean that we have to let go of the, the, the masculine power, but the, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, and the will of wisdom that unite those, those, those two will is, is really the essence of what we, um, we are activating right now. Um, uh, we are in Venus retrograde, so it's a greater thing of shifting in relationship to love and money. All those things are being put into perspective. We are finding out new things about them. Um, for, um, in essence, we, we, we do want to, we, we're going to be going through a very, very deep uh, collective awakening around the 20th, from the 20th to the 5th, 20th of March, to the 5th, 20, 15th of April is going to be a great deal of awakening, but that may cause confusion. A lot of people may be left completely confused because they've never even took the time to go within themselves. So when this this inner self comes out, they may not. F so we will we'll have to be there to assist them. Um, I wanted to say uh, also that uh, the idea is to. Um, we can use our breast to shift reality for, from one breast to the next. We can recenter, reconnect, re uh, let go of anything from one breast to the next. So it is important uh, to be able, while we do that, to learn to turn off our mind, to go into silence, to, to p allow some more space in between thoughts. So it's, it is a good exercise. Of course, another good exercise you may want to do if you're not uh, used to conscious breathing is to start by t counting 10 breaths. 10 breaths or you can make it turn, make the, the energy flow. There is all kinds of breathing techniques, but then once you do 10, then you do 9. Once you do 9, then you do 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And then you can start again, 11 if you want. But uh, but essentially, you, the, the breath becomes more and more subtle as you do that. Uh, this is a technique that was um, Partially from the, the spiritual school of non-being, but those uh, those people that are practitioners are monks for the most part, and they start with 73 breaths, and then do 72, and then they do 71. But that takes all day. Well, now we don't have all day to do breathing exercise. So, but do whatever you can use that in whichever whichever degree you can. But but it's good to learn to take take a few minutes each and every day to breathe consciously to let go of all the mind. The mind will tell you breathing is not enough, but it is just. L Allowing that to happen is like um, going in deep inside yourself in meditation or in hypnosis. We get to understand the door of ascension is always open to everyone, but the, some people have heavy, heavy karma, even for the dark souls, for instance, the, the door is very, very, very narrow. And the, the more, uh, the, the more we, we integrate, the more we transmute, the more we are able to let go of the karma, the, the grander the door of ascension becomes. Uh, I was saying that... Um, 
uh, the, that the whole invisible universe is benevolent for, for of course, in the universe, uh, the invisible world, in the world of invisible, in the astral plane, there are positive force and negative force. We have to choose. The negative force have their reason to be. There is a fight between darkness and light, between the up and the down, between the... the, the the, the, the good and the, and, and the evil, the, the, those fights are necessary for duality in, in the universe of duality to exist, but they have, the dark force have no power whatsoever to, in relationship to you, as long as you maintain a, a, a space of love and light. Uh, it, the, only, the only power are to, to confuse, to create confusion, to confuse disorder, and so, but those forces are still useful, they will be removed when it's no longer necessary for them to be here. Um, in essence, we have to understand that there is no place where love is not. If we do not experience love at every moment, it's because we are missing it. We are, we, we, we're not there quite there yet, but it is there. And, uh, and the more we work uh, in finding that, in expressing that, understanding that life is a partnership between you and uh, uh, you and life. There is nothing else. Life is, is a universal intelligence and you are an individual. In truth, there is only this universal intelligence. But since we are individual, we have to perceive a, a clear distinction between our own perception and, and the greater universal uh, uh, archetype. So, uh, so yeah, it is a partnership, and so it, but life is the only game in town. There is no choice. You're there. You, there is nothing in the universe that's not connected to life. It is all part of life. It is all part of you, for you are life. The creators have created all of us, each and every one of us, with the sum of all total potential in realizing this God self, this this we, one, one being of, of, um, of eternal glory, for it is not us that are, that are trying to look for the glory, it is to glorify the love of that source, for, for that is really where the glory belongs and the truth belongs, and, but, but this truth can only exist through us as we open our heart and, and our mind to that possibility. Um, so there's going to be a great mass awakening, so this, we're going to be uh, needed to... Uh, to help people, the problem is that often we we are um, we are focusing on something, and then ten minutes later we could, we put a doubt on what we thought or what we dreamed or what we ask, or, or we put a contradiction story short. So it's it's important to trust that to put more energy forward than opposing energy. So uh, try to uh, avoid doubting yourself. Um, for, in essence, space is a third-dimensional invention and time is a, is a fourth-dimensional invention. Those are paradise gifts as well. But when we reach the fifth dimension, we find a place that is crystalline and, and whole. So there is no more time, no more space. There is just a being. And, and through this being, you, the consciousness can expand throughout this whole universe of, uh, of things and being. So... Uh, we are moving towards a crystalline energy for, for, for this, this reconnection to our soul aspect, for our soul already is in the fifth dimension and projecting this, this, this holographic um, experience for us to, 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 to have that experience. So, um, so we, we, we do want to understand our own timeline, what is the timeline, what is our life, what is the, the point of, of this sequential experience. We want to understand the meaning of those things. And for that, in a sense, we want to understand we all have our own personal timeline right now. If you're watching this video, my timeline is meeting your timeline. And, and whenever we come into a relationship, even if people have different ideas about life, it is a, it is a merging of timelines. And so we'll be able soon to, to be able to observe different uh, uh, potential, to be able to jump time, to, to jump into different timelines, to explore things. If you meet someone that inspires you something, you can explore a timeline without having to break down all the physical aspect of your life. You, you want to move out of fear in order to allow your, 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 your imagination, your, your inspiration to, to, to be more... Um, to, to be more expressed in, in your mind, to be more uh, vivid, so to speak. So, well, in essence, that's what I wanted to talk about. I'm going to pull a card for the day, and the card for the day is the cremation ground. Ooh, looks scary. It's called meditation. It is the, the ability to transcend, to move beyond the linear time in order to move into hyperspace, where all things are always flowing. It is is moving beyond life and death, there is a, uh, eternity, the, the, to be immortal has nothing to do with the physical body. I'm sure there may become a point in time when we'll discover within ourselves how to crystallize the whole physical, as physical 
body to eternalize it but but in essence it is in consciousness that it has to happen for that is really what it is that's where it is for for the, the eternal truth of who you are is not a physical body it is an eternal spirit and soul and so the, the, it's a very active card it's a card of of uh, of motion forward to, to get staying within your power center within your your, your power seat within a, to be seated within yourself you can move from there and and f and you'll see that the more you are in trust and confidence uh, uh, always uh, seeking to to do the highest good of all but not to forget yourself in the process the more things will uh, will flow in that direction well i hope this message was interesting for you i wish you a wonderful day and i'll talk to you later namaste